Okay, so let's begin now. Let's assume this is your question. Let's assume you are giving this on the day of your IELTS exam. What is the first thing you're supposed to do? What's the first thing you're supposed to do? Read the question once. Read the question once. Madam, why do we need to read the question once? You need to read once so you can identify the words you can do what? Paraphrase. So let's do some people. So I can paraphrase some people. Think, music, performance. We can change this or we can still retain it. Important role in society. I'm going to paraphrase from this full stop down to others. I will paraphrase think, I will paraphrase simply, I will paraphrase form, and that's it. Right? So on your question paper, with your pencil, do this. And then write the words you have confidence to mean this same word in this same context. So some will be what? Certain. Or a number of, right? Certain. Individual. Individuals, people is plural, so this word has to be a plural too. Now, here says what? Think. What do we use? Believe. 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 Music. Performs. It could be a crucial, it could be an integral, it could be a vital, it could be an essential, it depends on what you want to use, right? It could be a significant role in society. So right here, I'm going to paraphrase this, my full stop to what? Comma. Then I would bring in a what? A linking word. What type of linking word am I bringing in? A contrasting or contradicting linking word because the opinions are opposing each other, right? So I would simply say, whereas, Then I'll have another comma. Then I'll continue. Others, but this O becomes small letter. Do you understand that? Others opine it is a mere means of entertainment. Okay, at this point, I am done with the profit. So, on my answer sheet, I'm going to transfer this. And that's the beginning of my paragraph one. So, this is what I'm going to write. Full stop. You, you, you do not need to rack your head for it. A word that you have the synonym will pop up when you see the word. Anyone you don't know, go to the next. Don't try to think of what to use to change. You will waste your time. In IELTS, the normal time runs faster than what you think. Before you know Jack, you hear you have 10 minutes more. So when you read the Excuse question, me, please, where did you put comma? Where's the comma? There is comma after, after society and after whereas. Okay. So please, when you read a question, when you read any word, and the brain has recorded the synonym before beforehand, the brain will bring it out. Anything that is not in your in the head will not come from anywhere. It doesn't work like a miracle. You must feed the brain, and that's all. Called, um, um, vocabulary bank, it's it's there. Just like when you go to the system, if you are searching for anything, once you just type the first three, four letters to bring it out. That's the way the brain works. So anything that's not there, if you like kabash from Nati tomorrow morning, right? So we are done with the paraphrase. What's the next step we're supposed to take, madam? What is the next step? Um, that's 
start building your background thesis and uh, more like you start writing the answering the question. Answering the question. Did you start answering the question immediately? After the paraphrase. After the paraphrase, what do you do next? Your okay, thesis. Okay, you sorry, you read twice. You read twice or Thank twice. You. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so after the paraphrase, what happens? You you go back and read mm -hmm. twice or try to understand the question before you start. That's the next and very important step. At the point of doing this, were you reading to understand? No, you were reading to search for words you can change. So once you have successfully paraphrased, you need to go and know what you are supposed to do. So you need to read the question like twice or three times for proper understanding. So once you've understood what this question is talking about, let's say for instance, here it says, and when you are reading to understand, please don't read the paraphrased version. Read the original question. So you have your first time to understand it. Before you read some words that are there, and the prayer will, will take a pause and you begin to think in another direction. So some people think music plays an important role in society. Some people think music plays an important role in society. Well, yes, that is their own opinion. And somehow, yes, you may have also experienced it, that music has important roles it plays in society. Then, others think it is simply a form of entertainment. It's just better than so. Nothing more. Nothing more. I'm in the zoo. I live in the zoo. That's all. There's no more, no message. So it's just for fun. All right? So, when you've understood the arguments, you ask yourself, what am I supposed to do? What am I asked to do? What are I asked to do here? Um, you have to... You mean from this context or yes. the next thing from to do? here? What are you asked to do? You're supposed to discuss the advantages and disadvantages from both sides. Nobody said advantages and disadvantages. Okay, what? merit and merit. Nobody said merit the and merit. Those they are the argument. Thank you. Okay. You are asked to discuss both sides of the argument. So if you want to use the um, the added, um, advantages to discuss, perfect, is left to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in this case, you are asked to discuss the two arguments. That means, are you supposed to support one path and oppose the other? No. no. You must support both sides. You are a king. And two different factions have come with their problems. Are you supposed to take this side and leave the other? No. So that's what this IELTS question is asking for. Now, what do you do after understanding? No, I'm not giving you know, that. After understanding the, what this question is asking, what's the next thing we're supposed to do? You're trying to create your thesis. Background yes, we are trying to. So, what do we try to do to create? Sorry. I try to answer the question. Here, once you have paraphrased, you would come back here to read the question to understand. Now, once you've understood what you are supposed to do, everything coming back to read to understand and to decide on what to do is get towards solving your thesis background statements. I hope you are aware my questions. What do you do next? Start picking your points. Give your, your points. Don't go more than two points. You said you should Give decide your own opinion first. Say that. You see? You draft out your point. Hmm? You draft out your point. You draft out your points for each. You are planning. You are planning your essay. So you need to draft out your points. What points are you drafting out? The point to support the guys that feel music performs a crucial role. 
I also need to draft out the points to support the guys that say it's just. Do you understand this? They are meant to do all this within 40 minutes. It is for your own good. <laughs> Nobody's asking Wait, you to do it. participated in debates yes, in primary and secondary school. I support the motion. Thank you. The motion. Yes. But in this case you are supporting both notions. Okay, I have a question. Please. Okay. So at this point now I know when you said we should draft out our points, mm -hmm. you said we should do that with examples. Yeah, so in this case now what would we use as examples? Or would we now say something like um, maybe like what what can we bring in? Can we bring in something like millennials um, and the opinion that I, I remember on the ninth on the ninth on, on a Tuesday, right? I said you will always put it just on high job. Right? When we are still putting a you're asking okay. question about J. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me hold my question. Let me wait. You will get there. We shall get there. <laughs> okay, so so that we don't leave what we are supposed to build to get to that point. So you will, you will, you will understand that very soon. So here, you are a debater. You are meant to support or oppose. But in this case, you are not opposing any guy. You are supporting both. So let's plan our essay together. Mr. Rakib, can you hear me? Yes. Mrs. Cordy, please, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. This type of question is a very simple looking question. But it's very broad. Very broad. Right? It looks simple. No. It doesn't look simple. No, it looks broad. It looks broad actually. Really? There's some that looks simple here. Okay. Now let's talk about the points to prove or show or support how music performs an important role in society. Yes, sir. Yes. What point? Religious function. Are you just to state all uh, your yeah, religious functions? functions? Should I continue? You have more? Yes. Cultural what? functions. Pardon? Cultural. Traditional? Traditional. Okay. Ceremonial. Example? Um, Traditional. It's, it's a culture. Birthday. That's not a rule in society. It is individual. Not everyone was celebrating. Yeah. I just like celebrations. Do you understand? We are talking about society. So whatever points you are bringing should be something that is applicable in society. What about yeah, institutional? Institutional, like military. Yeah, okay. 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 Maybe military now. They use music too. Maybe when they are jogging or sports. That is entertainment. Let's talk about society first. Okay. Therapeutic sports. We call it diversional therapy. Very specific here, right? Music performs educational role. Is that correct? Yes. Music performs 
commercial and marketing or advertorial roles. Is that correct? Music is a medium of motivation. Is that correct? Music is a unifier. Can we relate to that? It plays a unifying part. Yes. Right? It's broad. It's this topic is broad. Mm -hmm. But let's not go too far. Let's just at this point. Now let's look at examples to attach to each of these points. Religious people. Wedding. No. Okay. Religious people. Church service. Mosques, church. churches, even in a shrine. shrine. There is music. There is music at churches now. <laughs> yes, now. Ah. So, you are yeah, talking about churches, mosques. EG is not accepted. No, this is my planning. This, this is rough for okay. <laughs> Thank you. But is this how you are going to write On my Christian oh, paper. Okay. I'm planning my essay. But you are not going to list the whole of these. No. Two or three. Just one. Or maximum two. two. You are good. But I want to One open up minds to different. That, so that at least we we'll have up to that 450 was 250. 450. You want to kill us? Ah, 450. <laughs> 450. Okay, traditional roles. Naming. Festivals. Marriages. Festivals. Etc. Diversional therapy. Psychiatric. Psychiatric. People going through emotional trauma. Relaxation. No, that's entertainment. Okay. Dementia. Mm -hmm. Educational. School and family. Any years of education? Early years education, then special needs education. Right? Okay. Commercial or advertorial, we are talking about um, yeah. um, promotions. Jingles. Thank you. <laughs> ETC. Motivation or motivational purposes. Mm? They are talking about the military comes in at this point. The military training, the sports, the concerts, the um, Ensar Ginger, the Cookathon Ginger. Do you understand? So music comes in at that point. Apart from that, someone who is also demoralized. Who get motivated. There are the music you play. Like what I play in the morning as my motivation is usually Timaya. Or I play two faces uh this song he dropped. If God can be care of the birds in this time, no one cannot those are motivational songs for me. Or some people will prefer to go to the gospel, right? Some people want to do reggae. It depends on you what motivates you or what speaks to you. Right? Some people will prefer to play Zazu. That's the motivation. Right? Then, unifier. The national anthem. National anthem. School anthem. School. Right? Wazobia. Right? These are examples. So let's go to the second, the second part. 
how music performs mm -hmm. just entertainment and nothing more. Relaxation. Please speak to the mic, sir. Relaxation. Relaxation. Okay. Any other point? Any other question? Relax. Pardon? Celebration. Celebration. Social gatherings. Social gatherings and activities. What else? G exercise. Lullaby. We know lullaby, right? Yes. When last? Eh? Which baby? Old man. We, everybody is taking care of all. It's not only babies. Thank you. Ah. Everybody, oh God. <laughs> okay. What else? What else? I see, like. Communication. Communication. Music. If, if communication comes in, then it has to be society. Right? Okay, so we can just hold on to this for now. Hmm? Example of relaxation. Rest. Hmm? Social gatherings. Oh, I'm good. Oh. Thank you. Exercise, you are talking about where? Gym. 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 Aerobics. Food. Oh, therapy. Oh, therapy. Oh, therapy. Oh, okay. Then, lullaby. That one is regular. Everyone. So, once you've drafted out your points this way, the next thing you want to do is give your own opinion. What do you find? I will find that music is not just entertainment. I will find that music is not just entertainment. So your opinion is that music is not just a form of entertainment, but has social roles it plays. That's his opinion. Who else can give us another type of opinion? But before you give opinion, let me establish something. In giving your opinion, please, Indicates is it coming from your experience? Is it coming from your profession? Is it coming from your personal? Where? Okay, so you are supposed to state it like, it's it's, like it's, it's, from my experience. Or in my profession, it's Personal not habit. it's not compulsory, but it's a way of it's establishing more. Yes. So, what do you do if it is from your experience? You are saying, in my experiential opinion. Then you drop whatever opinion you have. By getting to this point, that means we must have you must have set your thesis background statement. Is that what you mean? Yes. After this, we have achieved this part. Still on your question paper. Still on my question paper. Don't worry. By the time we are done. Don't worry. By the time we are done, we will understand better. 
Mother, please, are you following me? So, in my experiential opinion, mean you have experienced it over time, or maybe once. If it is based on your profession, you are saying, in my professional professional opinion. Then comma. If it is personal, you are saying in my personal, personal or in my candid opinion. When I was marking your essays, I, I read and um, I read where some person said I wrote, I think. Please, in IELTS, don't think. You should strongly believe or you should recommend. Because that's what that is to me. So don't say I think. All right? So, in my experiential opinion, I strongly believe or I strongly recommend that. You don't drop what you call Yes, please, Mr. Rakib, what do you say? No, I didn't say anything. All right. So, for me, my opinion would be, um, in my professional opinion, I strongly believe that in as much as music entertains a la the larger community, it is pertinent to recognize that music goes way beyond entertainment. It has more roles to play in a society. For instance, transmission of customs and tradition from one generation to another through the use of folklore tales. Right? It also helps to inculcate respect to people. It also helps people to understand their origin. Music also educates people. Hence, more emphasis should be laid on the importance of music in society than just being an entertainment factor. This is, so this is your stance now that you are taking. Which example? Hmm? With some of these things. And the examples are not really established a lot here. Right? Do you understand this? So once you're done planning this, please can I this? So once you're done planning, once you're done planning your essay, you can then go back to your answer sheet. Now on our answer sheet, what we have done so far is the paraphrase. So with your pen, or with your pen, you then begin by saying giving your thesis or background statement. This is the way it begins. Now remember, your thesis background statement should not end with a full stop, but with a semi column So right there, I'm done with my background statement. And it simply says, in this essay, I will be writing to loosely discuss the above. Arguments. All right? So after that, you then say, although in my experiential opinion, I strongly believe that you then write that opinion. That's you. You then continue. Although, comma, in my experiential opinion, I strongly believe that then you stop. Oh, I can clean this. No, please, sure. Um, since we are trying to no, no, please, more, like after that first post of means of entertainment. In this essay, we are trying to basically discuss 
instead of putting the above arguments, can you bring this you back there? Again. Mm. No. So that you won't. No, please. Okay. It is, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be repeating the same paraphrase. Okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So since you are paraphrased, so you are saying the above. Okay. I mean, just dictate it for us. I can't, like. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, have you copied the paraphrased version? Yes. Okay, so um, to continue with the thesis background statements, it begins from here. It says, in this essay, it says, in this essay, I will be writing. I will be writing. Okay. I, okay. In this essay, comma. I will be writing to lucidly. Lucidly is L U C I D L Y. In this essay, I will be, In this essay, I will be writing to lucidly. Lucidly is spelled as L U C I D L Y. Lucidly. It means clearly, vividly. Hmm? I will be writing to lucidly discuss discuss the above arguments. In this essay, I will be writing to lucidly discuss the above arguments. Semicolon. Semicolon. Although, comma. Okay. No, not experimental. Not I said. Experiential. I said experiential. E X P E R I E N T I A L experiential from experience. Experience is the root word. Experiential opinion. In my although in my experiential opinion, I strongly believe that. Then you continue with whatever opinion you want to drop, and then full stop comes in. Take in? Yes. Okay. So, once you have added or included your um, opinion, then full stop comes in, and that is the end of your paragraph one. Okay, do you understand this? Yes. This is just paragraph one. From here, then including the opinion. Since. <laughs> no, it is since because we're explaining. Right? Can I clean? Yes. Okay. So, this is how your paragraph one should go. After paraphrasing the question, you plan your essay by drafting out the points you like to use, and beside each point you draft out, you must attach an example you like to use to portray it. After drafting out the points, if you are required to drop your opinion, you also draft the opinion. All of this drafting and planning are to be done on your question paper as rough work. You're not submitting that. But that will help you as a prompter or as prompters when you begin to write. You are supposed to do all this within 40 minutes. Within 40 minutes, yes. If it's less, you already start to do well, it. Inclusive of this, this one, paraphrase. Yes, everything. Yes, everything. This formula will help you to hit uh, that. This, this is the formula. This because formula will help. Already, me, I can count like 40 people from this, right? Uh, uh, without the opinion. So, if the opinion should come in now, there's no opinion here. I thought the stance yes. is the opinion. Yes, but I didn't okay. express it. Okay. I, just, I said it verbally. So, if you include that opinion, if you write it out, you should be hitting about 70 to 70 something number of words from paragraph one. Still plenty. Yes. P2, P3, P4. So you must definitely. For, for those who like 
Me, I'm not like this. Is, so I always struggle with them. Try, try. Uh, but what you wrote, I read your essay. What you wrote has a lot of big vocabularies. My story. You see, in, in, in school, in class, there are people that always tell you that they don't sleep at night. You would, if you join them, when the result comes out, it will shock you. Right? So sometimes, that's him. That's him. So sometimes these things might appear a little difficult when you have not been put through on how to go about it. But with some of these expositions, of course, you can build something. My only prayer, my only prayer is try to actually interpret the story correctly. Because that is the community of the Sir, you want, so you want to debate. Yes. <laughs> that is my only prayer. Just interpret a question correctly. You will get your required answer. No. I tell you. Unless your spellings are bad. If your spellings are bad, it is a problem. Because there will be lots, there will be lots of red segments. So but if your spellings are good, Interpret the question correctly, you will write. You will score nothing less than 6.5 and above. Right? So that, that one is sure by God's grace. Now, does anyone have any problem with paragraph one? Paragraph one. Please, we are going to the next level. See that? We can go ahead, right? We move on again. Right, so we we'll proceed. Um, Rocky, is paragraph one clear to you? Mrs. Cody, do you understand paragraph one? Yes. yes. All right. So let's proceed. Paragraph two has topic sentence, body paragraph, and an instance. How do you create a topic sentence? How do you create a topic sentence? Who knows? But I've not even come to the How do we create a topic sentence? How do we create a topic sentence? We drop out your question. Um, we drop out your question. Um, Sir, so, how do we create a topic sentence? From the points you write. Thank you. You don't create anything from anywhere else. It is already there. But at, the, at the point when you are drafting or planning the essay, you are creating the topic. That's why yesterday I sent it. That when you when you achieve your paragraph one correctly, you have solved the essay by fifty percent. If you Take your P1 completely and correctly. You have solved the whole of your essay by 50%. Because your paragraphs 2, 3, and 4 are already solved. All you need to do is now write out. Please, do you understand? How do we create... we create the body paragraph? Expanding on your points. If you were here today, I gave the steps. Steps that you should take to achieve an essay. Everything is explained there. How to go about every all the, all everything we are doing today. I have given you the steps. You will be able to handle an essay question. Try and get the steps from somebody. So, to begin, your topic sentence. Your topic sentence has to be one of the points you drafted out on your question paper as rough work. One of those questions. So, remember, we are asked to discuss the two sides of the arguments, right? So, the first part, the first, the paragraph two has to be the first part 
of the argument. Is that correct? Yeah. And the first part is talking about what? Music. Music playing an important role in society, right? Fine. We drafted out about five to six different points. For you, I would strongly advise, if you meet this type of question, look for two of those kinds of points and put them together. Do you understand this? Together, no. Music, one. yes, in one paragraph. Okay. Music as traditional, as a, as a form of education, as yeah, as a medical um, therapy. Yeah. Yes, yes. They are two broad and very important points that I can talk about. Tradition is another very important point too. So, if you want to create a topic sentence, you could simply write. Here's my topic sentence. Diversional therapy. What would you do education? Alone. No. What's your education? What is education? Hmm? Music as a means of. Educational and therapy. Educational therapy? Doesn't sound. No, no, no. no. If you want us to align good. It has to be like, oh, okay. Do you understand what I mean? If not, this will just be on its own. Mm -hmm. Do you understand topic sentence? Okay, I get what you were asking. Why can't it be educational? Mm. If it will, it will be sweet if we are attaching it to this guy. Educational therapy? And diversional therapy. Um, Mr. Rakib, can you see the board? Yes. Mrs. Cordy, can you see the board? Yes. All right. So this is my topic sentence for paragraph two. So once you have created your topic sentence, what's the next thing you're supposed to do, Mrs. Cordy? To develop. You have to develop it. Okay. You have to develop the topic sentence to constitute the body paragraph. And when you are developing your body paragraph, um, what are you supposed to consider? I think you are thinking. I believe <laughs> that we are not supposed to um, limit it to is it writing words or something like that. I should. Add um, figures and things like that to make it more uh, authentic or related. to make it fact, fact like, fact like. Fact -like. Yeah. Do we understand? No, I don't. Okay, when you are to develop this music as a means of education and diversional therapy, you want to explain in detail. You want to expatiate in detail, right? So I taught that when you are giving that detail, do not restrict your details to spellings, spellings, spellings all through. Look for ways to bring in figures. And figures could be the number of people that education, that music aided or supported or helped to acquire education faster. The number of, the percentage of children in the class in a particular school located at a particular place. And this investigation was conducted by social and so person, led by social and so. You need to break in this. That you are citing that in the year 1546 that a team of academia, is that what they are called? Internet, education experts conducted an investi an, um, a research on the importance of using music in the classroom. And at the end of the investigation, it was proven that out of a class of, um, or in a class of 23 children who, who were between the age of, or ages of um, four to six, the ch children who the um, toddlers the four-year-old toddlers performed 
better because their teachers deployed music. Rather than the five and six year, six year children who struggled and put in personal effort to become, to get to the average level. Do you understand me? And this um, um, amounted to about 58% of um, passes. Whereas those that didn't use education had about 42%. I'm, it has um, amounted to 100, right? So you also need to be calculating whatever in, um, fact you're raising. Now, you're also talking about the fact that the education helps to normalize special needs children in a classroom. For instance, in a particular state named Horazo in Haiti, they should have research that one with your business, that the society discriminated children who had special needs. But after a research carried out by a doctor of philosophy, Mr. Kutara Shu, <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were here, don't worry. They were here. They were here. <laughs> so you are giving names. Now, that research proved that special needs children can normalize when they are integrated with the normal children and also when music is deployed in their teaching and learning. For instance, they were able to learn the phonics. Ah, ah, and they were able to also identify the letters at the end of the um, phonics that was deployed. As, and this was quite difficult for the normal children who were only taught with A is for Apple. So we are citing these instances. Yes, please. Did we start with, for instance? No, no, no. We are, we are discussing. You know, I will tell you how to bring the example in your essay. Okay. I don't even crusade that you should use the, the expression for instance, so... Yes. Please, I have a question. Yes, please. When you say we should try to bring in figures, are we to write them in words or we are to like... Is it right to write them in numbers? Figures, figures. 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 Numbers. 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 Okay, we cannot like put... Um, like we can maybe write spell the figure and yes. then write it in. Yeah. Then spell the word yeah. and write the figure. Mm. It is better to write the figure below. Okay. You understand? Yeah. When you want to cite percentage, you write the percentage fifty-eight percent. Okay. Okay. In S in IELTS in essay, you must bring in facts. You must bring in figures, right? So try and do all of these. Bring in names. Don't worry about the name. If you know how to write French name, write French name. They should not argue with your ancestors. You have submitted your. If you know, uh, all those Ishka, write them there. What year? What location? Right? What? If you are talking about children or a child, you can say. To further buttress my point, this is how to say, for instance, so. You don't necessarily need to say, for instance. To further buttress my point, my neighbor's child, Toby, you write the name of the child. It means you know the person you are talking about. Oh, can you say further more? No, no, no. You need to bring the example? No, no, no. You can either say, to elucidate further, to elucidate further. That's another one. So no, you, you, can, you can also say one good instance supports my point. This one is easy. One good instance to support my no, more words, right? You are looking for short words. You've been thinking and planning. That's why you don't want to talk. Everything she's not looking and listening to is how to break it. How to get that 250 or more. Okay. So please, these are ways. Yes, please. One good instance to support my point. One what good instance. The first one is, uh, to buttress my point. The first. To elucidate further. Second. One good instance to support my point. 
So these are ways of citing or bringing in examples in your essay without necessarily saying, for instance. And we, uh, you're, you know, of course, that you don't need to mention, for example, an EG. Those ones are it is. Don't bring those those guys in at all. So sorry, excuse me. So after the one good insult to support my point, comma, right? Mm -hmm. You then begin to my brother's son, comma, John, so, comma, this is this. Nice. Okay. That's what you do. Okay. So all of that, you give details, you explain, you cite, quotes, and make references. So at the end of that. If you want to bring in an additional example, because additional point rather, because here you are to begin the details using education um, scenario, right? So if you are done with that, you can now use furthermore. Do you understand where furthermore comes in? To start on the diversional therapy, you then begin to talk about. Um, an elderly man, Mr. Kujo, mm -hmm. you know, who is my next door neighbor, suffered dementia for over 10 years. And he was almost, uh, the, he and his family were almost giving up until a professional therapist was deployed or hired who simply brought in music by inquiring from the family the type of music he used to play while he was still very normal. When he was given the music, the man started playing that music at very moderate volume. And after a series of this therapy, Mr. Kojo... Can you hear me? Yes, is um Nigerian. Yes, it will come up. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. So you now cite that after intensive and consistent application of music in his therapy, Mr. Kojo was able to remember or to regain his memories so we must always put the end result yes of course that is what they are looking to see now you will not this is not a drama movie even a drama movie no more suspense again. please i repeat the sentence please which sentence please the nigerian movie After yes the nigerian movie from furthermore okay from furthermore we now bring in you have to bring in diversional therapy by simply citing that, um, furthermore, um, Mr. Kojo, my next door neighbor, who was 75, but suffered, or but has, or but suffered dementia for over 12 years, mm. to the point that he, alongside his family members, were almost giving up until a professional therapist was hired who came in and requested to know his favorite songs and started playing the songs while treating him. And after a consistent and um, after a consistent application of music alongside his treatment, Mr. Kojo was able to recover his memories as he began to recognize his family members and also um, tell stories about things that happened in the past. Yes, please. So in this aspect now, can you say like after, after 12 months, you understand, just like you said that uh, we can bring in figures after like okay four months of the th music therapy, he was able to get better. Sure. Okay. You must. It's not even. It's something you have to. Okay. He suffered it for twelve years, right? So yeah. the twelve is in figures. Okay. Then, then after consistent um, treatment for four months for a period of time, he had cancer. Yes. Okay. 
This is God. Can you or did you understand what all I said? Yes. So that's the way your paragraph two would go. Paragraph three. You want to talk about music. Okay. So here is my topic sentence for paragraph three. Music as a means of relaxation, social entertainment, and for exercising. I'm sure we can all relate, right? <clears throat> all right, so um, here we have music as a means of relaxation and social entertainment as well as exercising. Music as a means of relaxation, social entertainment, and for exercising. Now, for the body paragraph, you need to explain these points. So you can begin by using first and foremost, right? You talk about relaxation. More so, we talk about social entertainment. Lastly, we talk about exercising in paragraph three. Do you understand? <clears throat> but you need just one example. So you want to look for any of these guys that you have better exercise and better example to you. Do you understand this? You don't necessarily need to cite example for each of them. Mrs. Scott, did you understand this? Mr. Rafi? No, I was not upstream. You were what? I've been out since. I didn't get what you said in paragraph three. I said... I said that the paragraph three topic sentence would be something like this, music as a means of relaxation and social gathering, as well as for exercising. So I said you can give the body paragraph, develop the body paragraph of this topic sentence by simply taking them one after another using sequencers. So I made mention of some of the sequencers that can fly. You can say first and foremost, first and foremost we would introduce you explaining um, relaxation. Then after that, full stop. Then you can say more so, you talk about social guard and entertainment. Then lastly, or finally, you talk about the exercising. Do you understand, ma'am? Okay. So, but I said further that you do not necessarily need to cite example for each of these three points. Rather, you can just look for, out of the three, pick one of them that you want to, that you have a very relatable example to cite. Then you talk about it. It could be for exercise, it could be for relaxation, or for the other one. Please, is it clear? All right. So after that, I'll need your video later. Okay. So, Mr. Ben, can I get a complete example of this uh, of this part so I would like I will study it later. That's fine. I'll I'll send the um, YouTube link. Like I'll send a link to you. You can go and rewatch. Okay. So let's go to paragraph four. For your paragraph four, there are two ways to conclude your essay. You can simply choose to say summarily or conclusively. Yes. <laughs> or you can choose to say in light 
of the Ebu. Hmm? Ah. <laughs> okay. Now, which is not spirit that will lead you? You will tell yourself the truth. Let me tell you. It's not spirit that will lead you. Let me explain why I said it's not the spirit that will lead you. Huh? Mm. These two, summarily and conclusively, there is a condition that will make you use them. Don't just say you want to use some video conversation. If you have seen your paragraphs one, two, and three, and you feel you have not written up to 250 words, compose really, you must use any of them. If you look at what you have written so far, when you want to start your paragraph four, and you look at what you are written between your paragraphs one and three, you will feel or realize that you've not written up to 250 words. Or that use one of these two to, you, to help you to build more words. Do you understand? Yes. But if you feel you have written up to 250 already, don't think of this guy. That's when this guy comes in. Please, do you understand? Let me explain. If after going through the words or the paragraphs of written and I realize that I've written just about 180 words or I've written like 220 words, I have 30 more words to go, right? So what I'm going to do would be, I'll say summarily to begin my paragraph four. Or I could say conclusively to begin my paragraph four. Now when you say summarily or conclusively, you are bound by the practice to give the synopsis of these topics you have written in paragraphs two and three. Give the synopsis again. Like when you're listening to news, you hear that is the that's the news at ten. Just before you go here, they use the headlines. They'll give you the they call it um headlines. Headlines or recap, right? So if you have not written up to the required number of words, use summarily or conclusively, then give the Recap of those topics you discussed in paragraphs two. That is, for instance, summarily or conclusively, it is evident that music does not only play crucial roles in society by means of educating people, healing those that have dementia and emotional trauma in society. It also entertains people at, during social gatherings as well as help people to relax and also exercise. Do you understand what? Then you, you say, therefore, in my experiential opinion, you then break down your opinion. Please, do you understand this? Madam, do you understand? Mrs. Cody, do you understand? Yes. Rakim, are you following? Yes. Correct. So when you are when you choose these guys, by the time you summarize these guys and then bring in the opinion, you are hitting another 60 to 70 more. So what do you think now? <laughs> right? But if you have written enough, your paragraphs are quite lengthy. So you don't want to overflow it or bore the examiner with long reads. So what do you do? In light of the book, I therefore recommend strongly that you bring your opinion straight. No long story. Please, do you understand this? You just simply say, for paragraph four, you say, in light of the above, I, I therefore recommend strongly that although uh, music does this, you are bringing in that opinion. Can you remember? I, I will find that although music is seen as a means of entertainment, but there are, there's more to it than just bringing your opinion. You don't need to write any long story because your essay is already lengthy. Please, do we understand? Uh, it's not spirit that will lead you. Do you, know, do you now know why it shouldn't be spirit? Yes, you have to be conscientious. Okay, so that's it. That's how your essay should go. That's what you should do. Please. Let's, let me give you one. Oh. I want to hear you. Okay, so I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, at what point um, do you refute or oppose? Since we're discussing. Um, to 
Okay, in this question time, there is no room for that. There is no room for that. So, I'll come back to your question now. now. Do you understand how to treat this question type? Please, do you understand how to attend to this question type? Yes. If it says discuss both sides, who should you give the will for the first paper? Like you want to share will now. Who will receive the first opinion? So called. So -called. Who will receive based on the formula? Who will receive the first opinion? Based on the formula, who will receive the first the first part of the argument? Those in support of music. Based on this formula, who will receive the first part of the argument? Where will you express the first part of the argument? The opinion. Paragraph two. Paragraph two. Oh, paragraph two receives the first part. Oh, sorry. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Based on this formula, who receives the first part of the argument? Paragraph two. Who receives the, uh, the opposing side of the argument? Mm -hmm. Paragraph three. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, so you must always share the points between paragraph two and paragraph three. These are the two paragraphs where you discuss any point you have. In essay, in essay writing generally in IELTS. Now that's all about this question type. There are question types that would ask you to express whether you agree or disagree. That's where your question comes in now, right? So if a question type says, Do you agree or disagree? Give your opinion. Do you have an option? Do we have an option? Yes. We have an option? What's our option? If you agree, you will now write in support of what you have written. <laughs> a lot of things. But sir, is it the same thing with the merit and the merit? Yes, advantage and disadvantage. So, I want to be sure you've understood this one we're treating now before we go to the next one. Yes. So when it says, do you agree or disagree, you have to take a path, right? Mm. So you want to take a path whether you should support or oppose. That's agree or disagree, right? Now, if, for instance, you wish to agree, do you know how to go about solving following this formula? You are meant to generate two points to agree, two points to show agreements, two different points. Where will you express those two points? Thank you. I hope you're understanding it. If your question type says, do you agree or disagree, and you feel you have better points for agreement, Generate two strong points. Those two strong points we go one for each. Do you understand? So your stance will state that um, in this I will be writing to support your thesis. In this essay, I'll be writing to absolutely agree with the issue with the point. Do you understand? If you want to disagree, you have to generate what? Two strong points to show your disagreement. And your thesis background statement will also establish that in this essay I'll be writing to out outrightly what? Disagree. disagree. Right? If a question type now says to what extent do you agree? So we say to what extent do you agree or disagree? What option do we have? How many options do we have? We totally agree. Yeah. Many options. Really? Please, let's have it. I partially agree. I completely agree. I agree to some. Okay. I think I totally to, disagree. Totally, I totally disagree. <laughs> or I partially disagree. Is that the same thing? Oh, yes. Is that the same thing? Because as to what? Question can come that way. The question can say to what extent? Do you agree or disagree? He's very correct. There are two options. It's either you completely agree or you agree to an extent. To what extent? Now, what's the implication? 
If you agree completely, how many points do you generate? Two points. Two points. Where will you express them? Paragraph two and three. Thank you. If you agree partially, what will you do? Who knows? If you agree partially. One point. One point. Two points. One for. You still give two points. If you agree partially. They're giving two points. Two points for what? One. You partially. One that you agree. No. The other one, the reason why you don't fully agree. Let's take that again. The first one will be why you agree. The second part, the reason why you don't. Thank you. To what extent do you agree? And you say you want to agree passionately. That means you have something contrary to that original issue raised. So, but the thing is, you must express agreement first. Then you contract or um, contradict the points. Do you understand? So that means you are generating two points. But the two points, one will be to agree, the second point will be to disagree. That's in P2 and P3. Agree will be on P2. Disagree will be for P3. Please, do you understand? Some questions would ask you. Some question types would say... Sorry, sorry before you go forward, now give us, just construct like what your tests would be like. Just give us like for, for what? For partially agreeing. In this essay, I'll be writing to agree with the above point to an extent. Okay. That's all. That's P2. Okay. Do you understand? P1. Yeah. Or you can simply say, in this essay, I'll be writing to partially agree with the viewpoint raised above. Okay. That's all. Examiner that reads that will know that your first, um, your paragraph two would agree, paragraph three. Yeah. Do you understand? Now, let's also look at another question type. If a question says, in recent times, a number of young adults have been visiting environments where survival, where the chances of survival is very limited. In recent times, a number of young adults have been visiting environments where the chances of survival is very limited. Full stop. Question. Why do they do so? What are the benefits? Okay, my thesis will be in this essay. I will be writing to I will be writing to discuss why youths go to environments where chances of survival is very limited. I strongly agree. Strongly, okay. 60%. In this essay, I'll be writing. You are not to discuss, you are to highlight. You are to, you are to write to state clearly why youths frequent environments where chances of survival is very limited and also establish the possible. Benefits. Do you understand? Because the question says, why did they do so? What are the benefits? Not, not to agree or disagree. So your thesis background statements should establish reasons you to do that and also the possible benefits. Please, do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Okay, reasons should come in P to right. Okay, reasons they do that, right? Comes in P2. Then benefits, P3. Do you understand? The reasons they frequent such, such locations should be discussed or established or highlighted in P2. Yes, so in this case, there's no stands. No, but you are making recommendation. You are making recommendation. Okay. What kind of recommendations can you give? The government should enact laws that would make people sign contracts or sign um, documents that would uh, banks call it indemnity. Indem 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 so should that be in P1 or P4? You are establishing it in P1 and P4. 
So people should be meant to understand the consequences of going to such environments. Now, there should also be paramedics on ground in case of emergencies, right? And people should also sign papers that will make them take full responsibilities of anything that will come out of it. And people should also be compelled to wear safety gears before venturing to venturing into such a these are possible recommendations you should make. So you say this recommendation should be You are bringing it recommendations must yeah, appear in paragraph is. one and would also appear in paragraph four. Mm -hmm. If there is no specified stance in your question. Please do we understand? Madam Cody, do you understand? Rakib, are you there? Yes. Okay. So, yes. So those are some of the recommendations you want to make. And after that, you are good to go. So once you have established summarily or conclusively, depending on the situation, right? You, if it is summarily or conclusively, you're quickly going to give the synopsis of the topic sentences discussed in paragraphs two and three, then you bring in your stance afterwards. But when you're bringing down your stance, which is you've already written in paragraph one, remember you must paraphrase it all. Don't do copy and paste. So, so you, you find a way of, paraphrase. yes, you find a way of restating it hmm? in paragraph four. But if you are doing com uh, in light of the both, don't talk about the topics you discussed in paragraphs two or three anymore. Just in light of the above, I therefore recommend strongly that go straight to your opinion and that's it. But the opinion also must be paraphrased. Please do you have any question? Any question? Sir, please can I, sir, uh, please can, I, can I get like some uh, soft question that's like comprised of all this so we can able to like understand better? Some what? Like some solved questions. questions. Okay, solved questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the ones you read and try to cram. No, not to cram. Okay, to now see the structure. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I don't usually give that. That's why I take my time to explain, but I will try. I will try mm, to get a solved question. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, we'll continue to move.